Okay, so this video, we're gonna to touch on the distributive property. This is a skill that you learned in sixth grade. It's a skill you did again in seventh grade. You're gonna do it again this year, but it's not gonna be basic just like this. It's gonna be within an equation or within simplifying an expression. So it's really important that we remember what the property states. What the distributive property says, and you have to understand that when we distribute, okay, we are going to multiply. We are going to multiply whatever is touching the parentheses. So let's look down here. I have A times B, which means A times B. Then I have A times C. What this is, it's a positive A times a positive C to give me positive A times C, which is really AB plus AC. Now it does change from time to time. Okay, I'm just gonna make this a little smaller for us so that you can see it and it's not running in. Okay, so this, your final answer on this one would be AB plus AC. Here, it's A times B, which again is A times B, but this time it's a positive A times a negative C. So I'm gonna get a negative answer, very good. So with this comes our integer operations. Remember, if you forgot those, there is a video we can go back and look at. So let's try these together. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna distribute four times X, which gives me four X. Then I have four times nine, and they're both positive. So I'm gonna write four times nine. So my final answer is 4x plus 36. Now what a lot of students do is that they leave this part off. If you leave that off, you're not showing me your work. Could you make a multiplica multiplication mistake? Of course. Will I still give you credit? Yeah, if you have that work there, I will. So what happens here now is seven times K. So that's just seven times K. And that's how we write it. You always put the variable after the number. Okay. Then I'm going to do seven times negative three. Okay. So seven times a negative three will end up with a negative. So that I have seven K minus 21. Everyone with me so far? Okay, so let's take a look here. And I want you to see this. I'm just gonna rewrite it so that we have space. Negative three times n minus eight. Notice I'm distributing here a negative. That's very important in this process, okay? So negative three times n is gonna be negative three n. The negative three times negative eight. A negative times a negative is going to give me a positive. But if you would like, you have one of two options. You can write that positive right away. But for some, that's going to confuse you. So here's what I would do. Okay, I'm just going to make this pen a little smaller. I would write negative 3 times negative 8. So that on this next line, when you write your final answer, you would have negative 3n plus 24. Okay, so let's go look here. Again, another one. I'm gonna write it over here for space purposes so you have space to see. Okay, so I'm gonna distribute negative two times five x. Negative two times 5x, and that's exactly how you should write it to show the work. Then I'm gonna have negative two times negative two. So I'm gonna write that. So here's what happens. A negative two times the five gives me a negative 10x. Multiplying, I can do that. I can multiply a number times a number and leave the variable. Then I have negative two times negative two 
which is a positive 4. I have now simplified, and I can't simplify anymore. So here's what I think you should do. You have some problems here. I want you to pause, try these on your own, and then I'll come back and go over them with you. So right now, I want you to pause your video and try these on your own. Okay, I'm going to go through these a little quicker. So let's see how you did. Seven times X is seven X. Seven times five is 35. Five times W is five W. Five times negative four is negative 20. Negative five times M, negative five M. Negative five times negative five, 25. Okay, so let's take a look at the next ones. Remember, if you haven't done these, pause. Do them on your own, take your time. You're not gonna learn if all you're doing is copying. Nine, okay. We are on 9 times 2, which is 18. 9 times negative a, negative 9a. 2 times y is 2y. 2 times 3 is 6. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times 7 is negative 14. Okay? Told you, you should have paused so that now you can be checking your work. So here is where it starts picking up. Negative seven times three is negative 21. Negative seven times negative five M is 35 M. And notice what I did, it's a positive because a negative times a negative is a positive. So make sure you have that down. 3 times 2 is 6n. 3 times 8 is 24. I have negative 12 times c to give me negative 12c. Negative 12 times 4 to give me negative 48. You with me so far? Remember, you can pause at any time. Let's go on. We're almost done with this video. Now I have negative two times four K. Gives me negative eight K. Negative two times five, negative 10. By doing just the multiplication and writing them, this is your expression. Negative eight K minus 10, okay? Now I'm gonna zoom in here for a minute because I need you to see this. Right now I'm distributing a negative. It means I'm taking this negative and there's a negative one. So a negative one times a K gives me a negative K. A negative times a negative gives me a positive two. When you don't see a number outside, ladies and gentlemen, it is a one. So really what this was, was a negative one times K minus two. I'm telling you now, you're going to see that negative come back a great deal this year and next year. It's not going to go away. Here, the next number 12, I have... I have 4 times 1, which is 4. I have 4 times negative 7 is negative 28, but there was a P. Okay, so we're going to go to our last row now. So it's the same thing here, but I'm going to do 9 times 2, which is 18, but there's an R. 9 times 7, but it's a negative 7. So I'm going to get negative 63. Look what we have again. Here's that negative, but there's a 1 there, so there's a ninja 1. 
okay? So if you need to for your sake, you can go over and rewrite it, okay? We can do negative one times 5k plus four. So negative one times a positive five is negative five, and there was a k there. Negative one times four gives me negative four. So most students now will kind of struggle with the fraction. Get comfortable with fractions. I still do the same thing. I'm distributing four ninths times three eighths. You do have a fraction button on your calculator and I will show you that. But what happens if you don't bring your calculator? Go to the side and do four ninths times three eighths. Here's what happens. This four and this eight can simplify. They can both be divided by four. That's how we do this. So this really becomes a one and this becomes a two. Then I have nine and three that can be both divided by three. So that's a one and a three. Now I'm gonna multiply across and I'm gonna get one over six. So what this becomes is one over six W. Okay, does everyone see what I just did? I'm gonna fix that for you. One sixth W. But I have to do four ninths times 10. Well, go and do it again. But this time it's 10 over one. Looking diagonally from here to here, there's nothing that I can simplify. So I just multiply across, I get 40 over nine, and guess what, ladies and gentlemen? You can leave it as 40 over nine, and then that is your answer. Do you notice how I went over here, okay, and I did my work on this side. I kept it out of the main area, and it's organized. I then took the time and boxed my answer in. You really need to start organizing your work because we're gonna start getting multi-step problems. So please, should you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask.